What's up guys and welcome to a new Rust building video where I show you my work around Face Punch's latest update that heavily affected my base design which is why I decided to make this video. The main purpose of it is to patch the whole Face Punch made in this design and the second purpose is to help whoever uses this loot room in their base design. So in this design I used six of these loot rooms and they're pretty much OP. The total cost of raiding them is almost 80 rockets. I used the combination of armored doors and vending machines. From the edge of the vending machine you can see that I can access all boxes. Whoops. Okay, this is the third and this is the fourth box. You can see that I can access them all through the edges. Behind this vending machine, we have two boxes on the on the foundation, a half height triangle clipping into the vending machine, and then two boxes, and we can access all of them. Today's update, of course, the day this video goes live, Face Punch added an invisible hitbox to the vending machine. If we run this command, you can see that there's an invisible hitbox on the vending machine this is a huge problem when building that loot room because it blocks a lot of the placement of a lot of stuff so let's say first in the video this is how i built this loot room i placed the vending machine first and then i placed my door but now the invisible hitbox is blocking the placement of the armored door i found the easy fix for this and also whoops move the vending machine let's place it back if we go to place the half wall we'll get stuck on cannot build in this area because also on this side there's an invisible hitbox blocking the placement of this half height triangle the first fix for this is pretty easy and simple and i don't think this affects these loot rooms but you can always work around them you know so let's say this loot room got raided or you're building it and you want to place everything first you want to grab a salvage shelf place it as far as possible grab four boxes hug the wall get the get the box turning blue once it turns blue jump and spam left click I didn't get it this time for some reason um, there we go jump spam left click and you can see there's a box on top and this is the second box move to the other side as well and repeat the same step jump and spam left click this is the box and this is the second one now we have four boxes here we can place our vending machine but as I mentioned, if you place the vending machine, you won't be able to place the armor door. This is a bit silly to say, but if you place the armor door, have it swing outwards, open, and then grab your vending machine, you should be able to place it as well, and then close the armor door. Now, one more, one more thing to mention is that the boxes on the left are sometimes hard to reach for some reason. Let me try and place a box, well, a small box would help. okay now i can access them easily but sometimes these boxes are harder to place so oops to fix this you only need to place the vending machine a bit offset to the left to the right sorry so you see this open okay let me place a box first so that i can get the open option you see this dot under the open okay this box and this box there's a line between them this line needs to be in the middle of the foundation following this line on the sheet metal foundation so if we go a bit to the right this is i think this is perfect grab it one or two dots away and place and we should be able to access the boxes on the right and the boxes on the left once we place a small box in the middle now I found another workaround for this, which is offsetting the honeycomb, having it higher and you can place the half wall, but I don't think this is that useful. So if we place the armor door, then we place the vending machine, like shown, 
jump on top, grab four boxes to go on this side on the foundation, go back to the honeycomb, have a half height triangle, then you should be able to place this. I don't think you can place four boxes or maybe we can, I don't know. I never tried boxes because I didn't think this is that much useful, but let's try it. One box. Uh, yeah, this this is also scuffed. Oh, you can't place two boxes. Can we loot them though? We can loot this one. We can loot this one as well. Loot this one and we can loot this one. Yeah. Okay, so wall stacking this works. Of course, you need to cover this with a wall and cover this with a wall and you should have a wall stack loot room. If your base loot uses this layout, I think it might work for you. If it doesn't, you might want something else. Well, the wall stacking was a bit low here. I can't close it. But anyways, you get the idea. But this is useless for my layout because I don't have the base wall stack. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned one thing or two. If you did, consider subscribing. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video.